Hi, hello, fierce loves. Hi, welcome in. Sawadi ka, mabuhay, and you are back with me, fierce sigh. For those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, welcome, and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell button to be notified on all my future uploads and my live videos. So this time, I'm going to share to you another video which I filmed way back summer. At the end of July 2018, starting off with this very beautiful item. The name of this pendant is Open Work Butterfly Necklace Pendant, or in other websites, they call it Silver Butterfly and Pearl Necklace Pendant. The middle of the butterfly is encrusted with pyrite crystal, which is a symbol of wealth and good luck. It's also known as a fool's gold because of its shimmering golden hue, the color of gold and the midday sun at its full strength. Here's the hallmark for this pendant and engraved on it is S925ALE. Here is a close-up of the pyrite which is a protective shielding stone and is excellent to wear around your neck as it deflects harm and danger. It is especially helpful when one is away from home or performing hazardous work. And here I am placing this sterling silver butterfly open work with pyrite crystal and freshwater cultured pearl onto my Pandora 45 centimeters oxidized necklace chain. I love that this open work butterfly necklace has pyrite because it's a crystal of positive energy and is extremely helpful for melancholy and thoughts fixed on misfortune and despair. It relieves anxiety and frustration and as a mirror to the self, reveals the causes behind these emotions and promotes a search for solutions. You probably have already seen me wear this necklace and I also have the ring. It's part of my first 10 or first 20 Pandora rings. I also have the earrings which I got about a week after I have this necklace. What do you think about it loves? Let me know in the comment section below. This next item you have already seen on my favorite necklaces video and it's no other than the Pandora crown pendant. I really love this one and it represents me a lot as I always tell you a million times. My name is derived from two royalties, Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana and my last name now. If I translate it from Swedish to English, it means crown. So this oxidized sterling silver crown pendant is just so lovely. I feel like a royalty every time I wear this and this is just like my ultimate favorite Pandora pendant of all time. This is from the spring 2013 collection and I just really love all those sparkles on this crown pendant from Pandora. Here I am going to wear it on my very long necklace chain, 90 centimeters. I borrowed this chain from one of my Pandora necklaces, which is the heart locket. That has a very long chain and it's perfect for this one. But nowadays, I use this crown pendant with my oxidized necklace the vintage one that i got from an outlet store a crown is a traditional symbolic form of headwear or hat worn by a monarch or by a deity for whom the crown traditionally represents power legitimacy victory triumph honor and glory as well as immortality righteousness and resurrection in art the crown may be shown being offered to those on earth by angels apart from the traditional form crowns also may be in a form of a wreath and be made of flowers oak leaves or thorns and be worn by others representing what the coronation part aims to symbolize with a specific crown in religious art a crown of stars is used similarly 
to a halo. Crowns worn by rulers often contains jewels. And I feel like a royalty when I wear this one. Since I have the pendant, I gotta have this too. And this is the pair of stud earrings from the Royal Crown Collection still from Spring 2013. And this one is called the Silver Crown Stud Earrings. I really like this sterling silver earrings and it has some, some cubic zirconia on it. Just a very nice touch of sparkle. I love it and I also have the ring from that collection too. You know that I really love crowns and I really hope that I could collect all the crowns that um, Pandora have come up with. Hopefully someday, not too soon. But um, here is the hallmark for these earrings. On the cap we have 925 over there and then um, you can see on the earrings itself, S925 on the back left part. Here is the hallmark on the other side of this earring, so you can see ALE engraved in there. And here's a close-up of this wonderful earring. Here's the two of them as a pair. And of course, I am going to show to you how it looks when i wear it so here's the necklace which you have seen earlier today and then i'm gonna put on the earrings of course here's my cute perkiness side <laughs> you know me i'm so perky so ta -da! here's the earrings I wonder how many earrings do you have from Pandora? Let me know in the comment section and share to me too which one is your favorite earrings because I have quite some and this made it to my top 10 favorite Pandora earrings list of course. And this is how it looks on the ears. And of course, I'm going to put the other one on the other side of my ears. Here you go. So as you see, the rings that I'm wearing on this video is my Mia Moore Black Onyx Heart Ring. I have um, the Daisy Bouquet there too. Yes. <laughs> Just so lovely. And of course, my XOXO or Hugs and Kisses Pandora Ring. And that's my royal collection earrings and pendant and now to my composed earrings so finally i get a chance to go ahead and share this to you because i've been wanting to do so since the last summer and i've been wearing this non-stop until an unfortunate event that i'm gonna tell you afterwards instead but first i'm going to share to you how i made this composed earrings starting off with the parts Starting off with this hoop which carries the charm and this is called the flower medium hoop. So it's so obvious because it has flower in there. Here's the hallmark, 925 ALE. Like so. And then I am going to share to you this next one. It is called the charm wonders garden 2 hoop. And it has this um, black stone there on the flowers. It's oxidized and it's really rare and hard to find. I'm just so happy and lucky to found it. So there you go. We have um, 925 Ailey engraved in there. And 
this is how you put it on so all you have to do is to insert that round part of the wonders charm hoop onto the hoop carrier like so and then grabbing this charm wonders garden 2 with light amethyst and i'm just so happy i have this one really and my love for amethyst started with um, this earrings as well and my amethyst earrings it's just so wonderful the hallmark is just right next to the round opening and the, to the left it's 925 and to the right it's ale so we are just going to do about the same thing we are just gonna go ahead and insert the round opening to the end of the hoop like so slide it and uh, there it is it overlaps the first um, pendant that we have and that makes our wanda's garden composed earrings and this is so lovely it's my favorite but i'm gonna tell you a sad story in a few moments well let me just cherish this moment that i still have both of them and i guess this will be the last time that i will be seeing my wanda's garden pair of composed earrings and let me just put one here on the left side and it looks like so this is so lovely it's very beautiful and i'm just gonna put the other one on the other side or on my other ear rather this could have been my number one favorite pandora earrings are the top of my list but i'm gonna need to break to you the bad news unfortunately i lost the other pair i was trying on some clothes and i was wearing it and next thing i know when i come home i don't have it anymore so i probably have lost it on the dressing room but i still have the other pair though so i still wear it and last but definitely not the least on this video is uh, this one and this is my silver compose earrings in amethyst i really love it because um for this one i have the hooks smooth large as what they call it on one of the websites that i research it with um and of course it's another amethyst i really love it it's so beautiful so this one is called the Hooks Smooth Large. That's the hallmark with a 925 ALE. And here is the Amethyst one. And that's the hallmark you see. 925 ALE as well on the silver part. It's engraved there. And the Amethyst is just so beautiful. It's really, I cannot stop saying so beautiful for this one. And this is how we are going to create the composed earrings. Just slide it on there like so. And voila, we have our composed earrings now. It's just as simple as that. I really like this composed earrings because it shows your personality. You can create it however you want it and you can just mix and match if you have a lot of those pendants. But this is my favorite and I've been loving Amethyst since I have these earrings and it's just so wonderful. One of very few stones with its unique purple coloration, Amethyst is a form of quartz that contains iron and other trace minerals within its structure. Also, amethyst is a meditative and calming stone, which works in the emotional, spiritual, and physical plane to promote calm, balance, and peace. It is also used to eliminate impatience. Amethyst is a stone of the psychics. Amethyst gained its name from the Asian Greek word meaning non-intoxicated. And here is one final look of my Pandora hard to find or rare composed earrings and my crown stud earring. So here's the amethyst, the crown stud earring, and 
the wondrous garden compost earrings with the amethyst pendant. I hope that you like this video as much as I enjoyed filming this one. I know it took me so long to finally finish the editing and finally uploading this. And uh, let me know which one is your favorite from this video. Put it on the comments down below. And uh, please check out all my other videos. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit on the bell button to be notified on all my future videos see you on my next one and remember to stay fierce and fly high